Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Powerpuff Girls Screaming Squadron Room Guard. So yes, here we have another Powerpuff Girls item. Um, and I mostly bought this just because I had never seen it before and I was curious as to exactly what it was. And um, it's uh, well, it's a room guard. Uh, the kind of things that for some reason children would get and they would make noise whenever people came into their room. It's a very strange thing that anyone would ever really want. And it's also kind of like a mobile, like one of those things you hang over baby cribs, except really loud, because <laughs> you hang it up and they spin around and make noise. Um, so, yeah, it's a very strange piece, and I had never seen one before, so I figured I'd pick it up. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and zoom in for the uh, details, and we'll look at how it works exactly. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, I'm only going to use one of them because they're all the same size and they're difficult to display because they can't stand up. Uh, here is Bubbles, of course. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch superior Spider Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. The Powerpuff Girls figures are a little over 4 inches tall or so, so they're bigger than Marvel Universe but smaller than Marvel Legends and don't fit in scale with either one of them because they should be child size. Um, they're also the exact same size as the normal Powerpuff Girls figures that were available at this time, the ones that I've reviewed previously. I just don't feel like getting them out to show you them. Anyway, let's get the other two out of here and just look at the Powerpuff Girls. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin. Here you can see the Powerpuff Girls. Um, they're sort of all on their stand right now, and I this is pretty much the best way I could show them to you because they're not posable, so they can't be stood up like a normal thing. Either way, they all look pretty much the way they should. They're in flying poses. Um, they all have their respective outfits on, um, respective colored dresses with white stockings and black shoes, and um, their arms are all posed basically the same. Uh, they look pretty much about as good as you could expect them to look. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on their head sculpts. Alright, head sculpt wise, um, they're all sculpted fairly well. Um, they all have their respective hair shapes and things done. The eyes are all painted pretty nicely. Uh, Blossom and Bubbles are about the same, and then Buttercup has her eyes angled a bit. Um, they all have smiley mouths, and uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple head sculpts, but they're executed fairly well. Uh, the paint's a bit messy, but it's not too terribly noticeable. Now, uh, they have no accessories or articulation, so let's go ahead and move on to sort of the features and how the whole thing works. Alright, so how this thing is put together is there's this big plastic stand and you attach all the Powerpuff Girls to that. Blossom has these strings and hooks coming out of her head and out of her foot. And you attach those to this little clear trapeze piece as they call it. And then those strings go up here to this big console thing that you uh, screw to your ceiling or uh, what have you. On the front here, or um, what I guess would be sort of what you would see from the bottom if it was on your ceiling, you have your switch, your battery cover, and this little thing here that accepts the uh, controls from the remote, and then you have speakers here. Uh, whenever you turn it on, essentially it spins around and makes noise. Here is the remote. Um, it's pink. It's got a little keychain thing. Uh, you push the star if you just want it to spin around for 20 seconds, and then you push the heart if you want to put it in guard mode, and then any time it detects sound, it will uh, start spinning around and making noise. Alright, I've got the console sitting here, and uh, I'm just going to turn it on real quick and let you listen to the sounds, and then I'll try to give you a display of what it actually does whenever it's all hooked up. So yeah, those are the two different sounds it can make. Um, they're basically just sort of weird little music clips and uh, uh, they sometimes say we're the Powerpuff Girls and sometimes they don't. Um, now let me try to give you um, a display of it spinning around. It's, it spins around very wildly and I'm not going to mount it to my ceiling because it looks very bulky and not very good at all. Um, but I'll, I'll give you a little display video here real quick. Alright, now that that's taken care of, let's look at the packaging, which is actually really nice, and it looks good displayed in box, a lot better than it does hanging from your ceiling. Um, big window here, uh, sort of standard blue and pink kind of design that they use for a lot of their toys, 
with remote control keychain, the Power Buff Girl Scream and Squadron Room Guard. Super sounds. On the back, you get pictures of the girls screaming Squadron Room Guard with remote control keychain. Super sounds. They zoom around your room screaming. That sounds kind of terrifying, actually. Like I said, these are good for in-package display, maybe not so much out-of-package display, although you might could rig up something that wasn't them hanging from the ceiling looking weird that worked out, okay? Maybe if you use some stands or something. But, yeah, Powerpuff Girls. All right, that wraps it up for the Powerpuff Girls, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.